In this video, I will be showing you how to do the loop dilution pour plate method. But before we begin, you need to wash down your workspace. Use germicide and paper towels to do so. After you cleaned up your workspace, gather up all the materials that you will need for this experiment. For this experiment, you will need gloves, paper towels, germicide, goggles, plastic petri dish, you will need three of them, biohazardous waste container, inoculating loop, bacto incinerator, your liquid stock culture, a lab coat, test tube rack, four test tubes, and a china marker. Once you've gathered all your materials, label three sterile empty plates with your initials and label them A, B, and C. I don't actually have an auger plate, so I'm going to be using a plastic petri dish instead. What you're going to do is this, and then do it to your other two. Then obtain three molten nutrient auger deeps from your instructor or professor or whoever's giving them to you and let them cool in the test tube rack. Now, I don't actually have a test tube rack, so we're going with this. And you want to let them cool down until they're warm to the touch. Once they're warm, you can label the deeps A, B, and C. Now, in this experiment, I will be using a plastic inoculating loop, but if this was a real experiment, I would check my inoculating loop before I begin. Um, in a real experiment, your loop shouldn't be more than like three millimeters in diameter, and um, it would actually be completely closed so that the film could uh, form in the loop itself. Now to begin the real experiment. What you want to do is to mix your stock culture, which is this right here, and what you want to do is carefully rotate it or roll it in between the palms of your hands like this so you get a nice mixture of the culture and then when you're done just put it back in the test tube rack incinerate your loop using the bacto incinerator once you've done that allow it to cool for this step you're going to be transferring two loopfuls using your inoculating loop of your liquid stock culture which is this little guy right here, into the deep labeled A, which is this guy right here. So we'll take the cap off of this. And then take this guy, your liquid stock culture, this bad boy up. You just want to get two loopfuls, nothing more than that. Incinerate your loop. Once you've done that, put it back down on the bench top. After you've transferred some of your liquid stock culture into the deep labeled A, now what you're going to do is mix it. So you can either mix it by going like this, or you can put it in between the palms of your hands and carefully rotate it. And then once you've done that, put it back down in your test tube rack. Incinerate your loop to sterilize it. Now what you're going to do is transfer two loopfuls using your inoculating loop from test tube A into test tube B. B. Here's B. It's going to take the cap off. Set it back down in the test tube rack and then grab test tube A, take the cap off. Now we only want two loopfuls from test tube A to put it into test tube B. Put the cap back on, 
Set test tube A back down in your test tube rack. Put B back down. Incinerate your loop to sterilize it. Now what you're going to do is pour the contents from test tube A into the petri dish labeled A. Lid back on, put the cap back on, then place test tube A back into the test tube rack. And once you've done that, gently swirl the auger until the entire bottom of the plate is covered in the um, mixture. Now what we're going to do is mix test tube B. Now you're going to do the same thing you did with A. You can either rotate it like this to mix it, or you can put it in between the palms of your hands and just carefully rotate it like this just to mix it up. Once it is mixed, put it back on the test tube rack. Incinerate your loop again. After you've sterilized your inoculating loop, you're going to take two loop fulls from test tube B and put it into test tube C. So first we're going to get the cap off of test tube C, put it back down in test tube rack, and then get test tube B, open it. Now we only want two loop fulls from test tube B. Place B back down. And put the cap back on for C. And incinerate your loop one last time and then set it back down on the bench top. Now we're going to do the same thing we did for A. We're going to take test tube B, the contents in this tube, and put it in the petri dish labeled B. So, I'm going to take the cap off. Use the clamshell method to open the lid and then pour the contents of B into the petri dish. Put the cap back on. Put it back in the test tube rack. And what you're going to do is gently swirl the auger until the entire bottom of the plate is covered Now we're going to mix test tube C, just the same way we did with test tubes B and A. You can either rotate it like this, or you can put it between your palms and roll it like this. Carefully though, I'm going to do a careful mixture. Once you've done that, put the test tube back on the test tube rack. When you're ready, Take test tube C, which is this guy right here, and then pour it into the petri dish labeled C. Do the clamshell method to open the lid, and then pour the contents of C in the petri dish. Close the lid, put the cap back on, and then put the test tube back on the test tube rack. And then you're going to gently swirl the auger like you did for petri dishes A and B until the entire bottom of the plate is covered. Once all contents from each deep have been poured into their respective petri dishes, let the agar solidify before inverting. After that, incubate these three specimens for 24 to 48 hours to allow for colonial growth. Once you are all done, decontaminate yourself and your workspace. First, dispose of your gloves in the biohazardous waste container. Your gloves have been contaminated from the experiment that you have just conducted. 
After that, wash your hands thoroughly. Then, use germicide and paper towels to wash down and wipe up your workspace.